hello everybody I'm just uh, checking out my cameras I got some new drift ghost s cameras I had the drift HD ghost this is the s model so uh, I actually got seeing what it's like I mounted one on one side of the helmet it's facing the front and one uh, on the other side of the helmet facing uh, the rear I have them both on 1080p 60 frames per second so we'll see how that turns out and uh, post this video up tonight see if you like the quality any better or if it looks any better at 1080p 60 frames Riding some back streets here in Cassville, Missouri. I uh, set my son up with uh, my old camera, which is a Drift HD Ghost. So he'll be on making some videos now. His Honda Trailblazer. Is his name. But I got three of these Drift Ghost S cameras, and uh, I got them set up here where they're, they're it's called clone, and uh, the one camera is the master, and the, all the other cameras you connect to it will be slaves, so when you turn on the master camera, it controls all your other cameras. So if I mounted uh, four cameras on the bike, it doesn't matter. If I mounted four cameras on here, when I turn on the one to record or stop, then the then the uh, master controls the slaves. So that ought to work pretty good, not having to you know turn on and off every camera if you have multiple cameras, different angles. So we'll see how that works anyway never used it before I can uh, set up other cameras on the bike in different places for different shots control them all with one and that will be pretty handy because I have the wrist remote that goes on so I can control them all with that I like the drift cameras because they're low profile and uh, they don't have the case that you have to put them in like the GoPro they don't stick out near as far on the side of your head like a big refrigerator nothing wrong with GoPros they are good cameras but they're not near as big as their name they do have a big name because they've been out there so long but these drift cameras uh, are just as good if not better in my opinion they're waterproof without having to have that case but now if you go real deep waterproof they do have a case that you can put it in well, thank you all for watching please subscribe click the thumbs up on my videos thanks for watching woodsman dual sport adventures and i'll catch you all in the next video